Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with the Saturday Vloggy Thing. If you're new here, welcome. Saturday Vloggy Thing is where I kind of wrap up what's been going on throughout the week and um, talk about some crochet and some life and some stuff and all the good stuff. It's essentially just like a little mini vlog of my life-ish. Mm. Uh, <laughs> if you need to stick around, I do all kinds of stuff on this channel, so you might find something that you really, really like, so hang out for that. If you're not new here, welcome back to the madness. Yes. Anyway, here we go. It has been a whirlwind kind of a week. Uh, of course, the new position is actually going well. Um, I'm pretty suited to it. I have got things going as they should be and then it's just a matter of maintaining and keeping up with all the paperwork stuff to do with being a manager and stuff like that but you know otherwise it's good i have a great team and that's you know the biggest part of it the only thing with the job though i knew that i would take a little bit of a pay hit yes my base salary is quite a bit higher than it used to be um it was pointed out to me by my manager when we went over my salary that my base salary since January has actually gone up 28%. That's great. However, I was working a boatload of overtime before and now I'm salary. So there's, there's no hourly rate. There's no overtime or anything. So with overtime, if you're not familiar, anything over 40 hours in this country, you get paid time and a half. And I was working it, y'all. I was doing 50, 60, 70 hours a week, pretty much every week. Oh my God. I got my first paycheck being salary for the full thing. We get paid every two weeks. And I have essentially done the math and my take home pay is dropping by $1,200 a month. I mean, I know I was working a lot of overtime, but wow. So, yeah, there's no more going out. I've turned off all of my subscriptions for like foods and teas and stuff. Don't worry, I have plenty. I will still be able to do those videos and I'll be able to do them without the subscription service. Um, but yeah. And I still need to find a way to make up at least $500 or so a month of it to keep up with everything and not end up in more debt. Um, because, yeah, overtime was my life. And now, I ain't got it. So I may have to pick up a side hustle. If you know any side hustles or anything that can bring in about, you know, 500 bucks a month or so, or maybe six, just say it. If it's more, it's better, okay? Let me know down in the comments, because I really need to know. It would be kind of helpful if I could get to 1,000 subscribers and get monetized. And I know you don't make a lot of money being monetized. But, you know, that little extra bit of change would certainly go a long way it would certainly buy more yarn because there is no more yarn buying at this point none yeah I even turned off my uh, meal kit subscription service because I can put together meals cheaper if I'm conscious about it matter of fact we went to Sam's Club the other night I was out of butter and I always buy my butter at Sam's Club because it's cheaper than going to the grocery stores and butter is so expensive right now so I got uh, eight pounds of butter. It's in the freezer. Butter keeps in the freezer, by the way, y'all, in case you didn't know. Um, and they had pork chops on a really cheap sale. So I wrapped them up, you know, individually to put them in the freezer so we can pull out two for dinner and, you know, make a meal around it. Uh, what else did I buy there like that? Oh, wings. Oh, my gosh. Chicken wings are so expensive now. But they had them at Sam's at a really decent price. So I brought home a package of them and I packaged it up and do three decent sized meal portions. So yay. So we'll be having wings at some point. Everything's in the freezer. Um, I mean, yes, I can make meals way cheaper. I have lived on ramen before, so it can be done. But, you know, I'm going to miss all my fancy stuff. going to miss going out to eat because I love going out to eat. So that's done. It's, it's over. <laughs> there can be no more of it. Although, although, I my paycheck gets direct deposited into like six different places, okay? The hubby gets his, and I get 
one chunk that's put into one account that has like one life insurance thing take out, take it out of it. And sometimes I pull from that because more goes in there than needs to. Plus I get some put into my, what I call my personal debit card account. Um, our gym memberships get taken out of that, which annoys me because we haven't been back to the gym. That's another story. Um, and you know, if I have money left in that, yeah, we can go out and spend that. But for the most part, eh, cause we were going out, you know, a bunch like to expensive places, you know, putting down a hundred bucks for a meal. Yeah. I have a sad <laughs> cause I love, obviously I'm a big girl. I love eating. Um, but I love getting to try new things and new places and that has got to be stopped. But I do like the job and my manager, my boss, the director, actually, we talked about it because she had gotten some big news where she's going to end up having to take on a whole bunch more responsibility. They're always doing restructuring in the corporate world. It's like, oh, we're going to slide these people over here and this group over here. And oh, yeah, you're taking on a few more teams and stuff like that. Um, it happens a lot in the corporate world. It's something like, yeah, you kind of get used to it. Uh, but she is getting like, I think, three more teams of, of totally different stuff. And she's like, she said, yeah, when they told me, I about threw up a little. And I said, yeah. And later on, we were talking. And I said, you know, when you said you threw up a little about, you know, about that, I said, yeah, I looked at my pay stub and threw up a little. And I told her, she was like, no. Because she knew it would end up being a pay cut, but didn't realize by how much either. You know, we both just didn't look at that. She says, I hope you're not disappointed you know or you know felt think you made a bad decision by doing this I said the pay cut is significant for me I'll make it work I always do but it's like a punch in the gut you know a surprise punch in the gut at that you know somebody punches you in the gut and you know it's coming you can tense up and you know make it stiff but a surprise punch but that just knocks the wind right out of you those of you who have never been punched in the gut you don't know what I'm talking about, but those of you who have, yeah, like that. So, yeah, that is my life right now. I'm still a little bit in panic mode. Um, so I didn't get a lot done that I would like to have gotten done this week. Not a ton of crochet got done this week. But you notice I did have some videos up this week. Finally, finally. So there was a book look, which this week was a flip through of a magazine. There will be another book look on Sunday. It's already recorded and posted and ready to go live on Sunday. So I'm trying to do those ahead a little bit now. Um, I also did my tea video, my snacks around the world and a hot taste. That's right. Anybody who was missing hot taste watching me try to melt my face off with food. Um, <laughs> those are back on Wednesdays. So yeah, be sure and look out for those because I, I have already the snacks for those. But I had a couple of weeks where I just was not feeling well, my, you know, tummy issues. And it's like, oh, we're not going to exacerbate this at all. Um, but it's back. So be looking out for those. We'll see if we can uh, be, make me melt my face off a little bit. You know, but there's also crochet. And, um, oh, speaking of crochet, got this in the mail just a couple days ago. Yes, this is my crochet exclamation point magazine. I will be doing a flip through of this and it will go up sometime this coming week. Um, I have not opened it because I always wait to open it like live so that I'm not, you know, picking and choosing what I like out of it first. We look at it together. It's kind of thin, but it's usually a pretty good magazine. So we'll, we'll look through that and see what it has to offer. Uh, this one displays until December 26th. So if I show it, if there's something there you like, you can probably go and find it at like Joann's or Michael's or like Walmart even. I think I found these at Walmart. So keep that in mind. Toss that over there. Now to the actual crochet part. Okay. I did do a little bit of crochet. Um, as you may have seen in the thumbnail, <laughs> there's this. In the thumbnail, you didn't see all that. <laughs> I, I've not uh, wove the ends on, on this because this is, stays in my bag that goes in the car with me when we're riding someplace and I'm crocheting. And I don't put a yarn needle in there. I always do it later. And I just forgot to pull it out and weave in the ends. But I will do that later this afternoon. This is just like a face washcloth. that You can wash off your makeup at night. Um, this is all in cotton. I believe it's all that Premier Just Cotton from Dollar Tree. 
uh, which is an 80-20 cotton polyester blend. It is perfect for this sort of an application. This is the moss stitch. And what I've done, there's no pattern. Um, I have done two rows of one color, changed two rows of the other. I did carry the colors up instead of cutting them each time. So that's why I only have this many ends to weave in and not more. And then when I got to the end, I went around in the pink and then around in the purple. Those are half double crochets. So now you know how I did it. Make your own if you choose to. It was easy. I literally did this all in the car while riding or in the twuck. It was in the twuck actually. And yes, for those of you who are new here, it is called the twuck. It's a, <laughs> it's a hybrid, uh, 2009, um, why does my mind keep trying to say Ford Escort? That's not an Escort. I used to own a Ford Escort. That's not a Ford Escort. It's a Ford Escape <laughs> hybrid uh, from 2009. And we bought it used just several months ago because my other car blew up. Mm -hmm. So we had to. We have one vehicle. Um, and yeah, we love the Twuck. We love seeing how far we can make it go in, in electric mode, which is kind of cool because it'll stay in electric mode as long as you're really low in speed, which around where we live, you have to go low in speed because we live on a craptacular unpaved road. And I say craptacular like that because we've had a lot of rain recently and, you know, we, we live in an area that's not flat. People whose driveways go up and they live up on a hill, their driveways wash down and then wash out ruts in the road. Oh, we got some deep ruts on the road, y'all. Mm -hmm. There were some in some places that were this deep where it dropped down. So it's like, you know, you're literally driving five miles an hour in parts of the road because you're going ka-chunk, 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 ka-chunk. Yeah. But I think it'll get fixed pretty soon because the school buses have to go up and down this road too to pick up kids and all that stuff. But eh, I don't have any kids. But when the school buses have to go up and down and the ruts are really bad, they fuss and then somebody comes out and fixes it again. We were told like 15 years ago that this road was on the list to be paved. Uh, y'all, how long is that list? Cause it's been 15 years. I think that list has long been crumbled up, thrown away, recycled and turned into something else. Cause ain't nobody paved this road. They would have to do a lot of uh, acquisitions, actually, because some parts of the road are so narrow, they're literally one lane. So they've got to get more um, property to make it wide enough to be an actual legal road <laughs> by today's standards. So there is that. Um, but yeah, we just, we deal with it, we ride, and this one at least doesn't bottom out when we go over those ruts. Uh, the previous car would bottom out if you like something this deep it would seem like it would you're scraping and all that stuff car car woes car woes y'all uh, <laughs> we wish that we could have bought an electric vehicle but not in the budget not in the budget right now um but we are huge ev enthusiasts and if we ever get a chance to acquire an electric vehicle it's happening um people are like oh electric no, electric vehicles are very reliable for the most part. Yes, you hear on the news about, oh, the fires and blah, blah, blah. Do you know how many regular internal combustion engine cars catch on fire every day? Try looking it up. You'd be a little surprised. Does everybody go, oh, no, we shouldn't be driving cars at all? No, because everybody has to get from point A to point B. So anyway, I will not get on my soapbox about that. But yes, cute. And I can make projects while riding in the car. Um, but seriously, moss stitch, y'all, moss stitch. It is apparently my life right now because I'm kind of obsessed with making these little things. And I like the way the stripes turned out on this. Oh, and one thing I like about the moss stitch for this is, you know, when you when these things get wet and you go to use them to, you know, as washcloths or whatever, they tend to stretch out when they're wet. With this, you don't get a lot of gapping in the stitches. It's not as bad. And then it dries right up. And oh, by the way, I know this yarn and it always says, do not bleach, do not bleach. All of my towels and washcloths get bleached. I don't care what color they are, or at least what color they started, because they're getting bleached. That's why I don't buy dark colored towels. I love the beautiful dark turquoise or dark purple towels. I don't buy them because I know that I bleach my towels. But these kind of things, I've been bleaching the fire out of the ones that I already have of different sorts that I've made. 
they're lasting pretty okay. So, you know, it says don't bleach, but if you end up putting them in a bleach load with your towels, they'll probably be okay. Cotton stuff. All right, I'll toss that to the bed. Oh, and that, by the way, came from this bag. And I have more stuff in here that I want to make. And I actually started another one in the car that day, but then we met up with our friends and, you know, I was yapping more than I was crocheting. So that stopped happening. Put that over there. Now I have been working on my temperature blankets. That's the one thing I can keep up with these days. These bloop, are the last three squares. Notice they are identical. But also notice when I show you the other part of the blanket, this middle color has not shown up for a while. We had some low temperatures in the 50s and I was kind of pleased about that. So these are the last three days um, for the temperatures. And the other week did get added on. Here we go. Look how big this is getting, y'all. Look at that. Look at all these dark colors, though. I mean, you literally haven't seen that other color since way up here. Um, since May, I think. A lot of purples and the dark teals. Because it's been warm, you know? The darkest purple is the, the hottest temperature I have. And that's like 91 degrees and above. And there's a lot of that on here. Uh, the lowest temperature I have, by the way, is white. And that is below 21 degrees. This is all Fahrenheit, by the way. Fahrenheit. Y'all who live in Celsius land, which is most of the world I know, are going, what? No, it's Fahrenheit. Sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah. So this is how it's going. If you've never done a temperature project before, do it. Just don't make it so huge that you can't keep up with it. This has been easy for me. One little square a day, just one. Unless you have a day where like the month, the way I did it, where the month changes and I have an extra square to make, to make my month. Like for the, for my nine here, I just took a color that wasn't around at all for this. So there's a color that I have an abundance of and then put the dark nine on it just to differentiate. And I have it, I have this all gridded out on a page <laughs> so that I knew exactly how many I had to do and I had to add a few extra squares in there. So yeah. I'm pleased with it. By the way, I'm doing mine at a three weight. This is a DK weight. The Amigo um, from Hobby uh, Amigo yarn, DK, all acrylic. Easy peasy. And yes, I think I did do a couple of videos or a video at least about how to do this. And if I remember to link it, I will link it. So there is that. And that's pretty much all the crochet that I have done this week because I've been in panic mode. Um, plus, you know, my uterus hates me. So there's that. Y'all know what I mean. And I have just been work, stress, work, stress. There was an old kid show that did that. One part of a word, another part of a word, then they'd say it together. If y'all remember what that was, let me know because it's, it's, it's in there, but it won't come out. You know, stuff like that. So what have you been working on? Please let me know. Like, again, if you know any side hustles that I can make five or $600 a month on that also won't interfere with my regular work, which is mostly Monday through Friday now, um, let me know because I would really, really love to know. And I got it. I got to do it. I got to do something. Yeah. Thank you for coming by. Um, I will go outside and do a little recording and see what my tomato plants look like. And I think I have some peppers to harvest, so I better get out there anyway. <laughs> Thank you for coming by. I will see you very, very soon. Stick around for the end bits and um, like and subscribe if you could. Bye y'all. All right, y'all, come with me as we step outside. Yes, that's the hubby's extra cane for in the house. Unlock and let's step out. Yep, the uh, mower that still has not been used again. Sorry. It's either been raining or too hot. Oh, oh yes, the web is still here. So hard to see. This web is so fine. It has managed to catch a little bit of a floofy dust in it. Um, I can't remember the name of that, but you know, I caught some of that in there. There are some bigger webs over there. Yeah, we got some spideys around here, but that's cool. They eat bugs. 
and they're cool to see the webs that they make. Yes, I'm going to come over here and check it out a little bit. Hopefully there's no snakes. That would be bad. Wow. Let me zoom in. Yeah. She's got a web and she's got some buddies up there too. I'm calling it a she because I don't know. I didn't, I didn't look between its little legs to find out if it's a she or a he. But anyway, lots of web action going there. Lots of stuff I need to cut down here. But yes, here's the twuck. Hello, twuck. Before we go over to the tomatoes and stuff, a little look at the cedars. Always looking good. Shading us from the neighbors. Oh, yeah. See, we have neighbors over in that direction, which... If the light catches it, you can see some of their vehicles over there a little bit, but it's actually through the woods to get there. And, oops, sorry, didn't mean to zoom, didn't mean to zoom. And we have neighbors up the hill there, which, uh, that's my in-laws, so, yeah. All right, heading over towards the plant mess. <laughs> yeah, it's a, kind of a mess, but that's okay. Um, oh, look at all. Oh, wow. Some more blue ones came out. Look, I didn't think these were going to come back. Aren't they pretty? Cute little tiny flowers. Little tiny white ones. This is supposed to be for pollinators. So that's why it's in here in this awful little container. This, oh yes. My ahi dulces. Y'all, I've got a pepper there. Look at that. And these are sweet peppers. I'll, I'll have to come out here and water after I'm done recording this. But got a couple of more starting. I am tickled about that. I've got peppers. I have apparently one lonely misshapen cucumber. <laughs> but whatever. I've never grown cucumbers before. And this is obviously not the ideal way to do it. But I have one. Okay, now we have... My Brazilian starfish reds. A ton of little babies here. All right. And I've got one here that's just about ready to come off. I've got a couple of little tomatoes that I need to grab. Here's another Brazilian starfish red. And another one that's green and a bunch of little buds. Oh yeah, this one is really starting to go nuts. Love it. Oh, by the way, one more thing from the week that I forgot to mention. Had a podiatrist appointment yesterday. And uh, I have bad feet. Oh, wow, look at that one. One of the bigger ones I've ever had. Tomatoes, by the way. Not not bad feet, although I do have really big bad feet. Um, there's another couple. Oh, that one. Got some funk on it. Yep. Probably some kind of rot that I don't know anything about. Oh, yes. And we have another spider right up here i uh, went to the podiatrist and he carved off the bit of callus that keeps growing on my foot and after we looked under it it was extremely healthy skin so even though it looked like there was another ulcer in there it was not that was just like dried blood kind of baked into it from my previous one before so that is definitely good news and i go back in another 60 days basically every 61 days i have a podiatrist appointment for them to carve on my feet and cut my toenails. Because you can't go any more often than that. See, I got some kind of rot on there. Um, with insurance. Now, speaking of insurance, besides all those extra expenses, found out about open enrollment again. And uh, my insurance is going up another $100 a month. So, yay for that, I guess. Yeah. So, that means I'll be spending $550 a month for health insurance for the two of us. And even with that, I have a $6,000 deductible, no, $6,500 out of pocket, uh, $3,000 deductible. So, yeah. Welcome to my world. I don't want to show you my tag. It is actually a tag for the hubby. It is a handicap tag because he has a hard time walking a lot of days. Um, so we can use the special spots that are closer to the stores when he's driving or with me. Car is very dusty though because yes we have here I'll show you this. Look at all this dust. That's just from driving on our road. Even if you're freshly washed, I can wash all this off and if we leave later and come back it'll look just like this. So yeah. Dusty world of a dirt road. 
All right. Thank you for my little trip outside. Thank you for joining me. There will also be pictures if you haven't seen her before. You know, we'll see. We'll see. And yes, I definitely need to come out here and mow, especially since now I can't afford to hire anybody else to do it. Yay. See you soon. Bye, y'all. <laughs>